a state representative, you told me a story about you praying for some Republicans or something. I'm not really sure like how the story went, but would you like to share with the audience that particular story? Oh, yes. Uh, he, uh, it, in the state house, and let me just tell you this, and I, I, I always have to prepare and tell people, being a state representative, and a state senator, is the best kept secret that you would ever want to hear, you ever want to know. Uh, you go to work, you work four months out of a year, you get paid 20, you get paid 12 uh, months out of a year, you get your per diem, and you get your, your you know, your, your little expense allowance, and you stay. But you hear a lot of people that will say, oh, I'm so inundated with calls, and, I'm so tired and so worn and everything. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I'm going to send a council. I mean, in the state house. I don't know that I get all them calls and get in the daily with all of that stuff. You know, and uh, I'm saying that it's the best kept secret because you make your own job. You can answer them calls if you want to. If you don't, you don't have to. And I'm here to tell you, there wasn't a whole lot of them that folk were standing in line breaking our door down and knocking our door down to see us. But we have to be conscious enough to know what we need to do as a state legislator to help all the people. And that's what we have to be about. But being a state legislator and a state senator is the best kept secret in the world. That's why you see people now, folk beginning to learn and see how important it is. Not everybody want to run vote. But now that term limits has come down now, uh, people just don't have the finance to do it. But I'm here to tell you, if you have an opportunity, folks say, oh, you got to have all of this education, and, and, and you got to do all of these kinds of things. You have to do nothing. <laughs> and they'll say, oh, well, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think I know how to do that. I'm not smart. They weren't smart enough either. <laughs> they didn't know what they were doing either. You know. And that's what I tell folks. You go out there and you learn. And you say that's what you're going to do. Encourage some of your young people to do that. Not only just in politics, but that goes for anything. But being in the political arena is not a bad idea if they put their heart to it and their mind. And that's what they want to do. I can truthfully say we definitely need some young people to go along with some of us older people to learn and, and, and work beside each other and see how it works. Oh, you want the story about the primary? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when I got elected, uh, they had something called prayer meeting every Thursday morning, 7.30. So I asked some of the African Americans, do you all go to prayer meeting? They said, no, we don't go to that junk. 